guys so welcome back to another vlog um it's friday today and it's actually labor day weekend kendra and i are about to get ready to go back home to montgomery to visit our family we haven't been home in a few months we're not going to be doing much usually when we go home we just house hop from family member to family member spend a lot of time with our grandparents you know things you do when you go visit home <laughs> so there's usually not that much to vlog but if there's anything to vlog we'll try to vlog over there uh, it's about a two and a half hour drive it's a pretty good road trip it's not too bad um because i personally if you guys didn't know this about me i actually hate road trips uh, mainly because like i just hated driving far distances as a child I used to get car sick i don't know i just have really bad memories from car trips yeah i always ended up getting sick or something so yeah i just don't have that many great memories when it comes to road trips so i guess i'll show you guys my travel outfit i always like to be comfortable on a road trip especially when i'm driving it's kind of cloudy so the lighting is not that great but this crop top is from joe brown it's like cotton and white and then these shorts are also from joe brown they're really comfortable really love them joe brown is a really good brand but i honestly feel like they're way overpriced so i haven't ordered from them in like over a year because i just feel like they the prices are ridiculous on there so i think i'm gonna probably make a trip to aritzia because kendra got some stuff from them last year and she has some really cute basics from them so i think i might hit up aritzia when we come back home it's kind of gloomy out so i think it's supposed to rain so i'm probably gonna pair it with this big oversized jacket um kendra got this off amazon and I have like a neon one that I like to wear around the house sometimes, but I wanted a gray one. So Kendra got me this one. It's from Amazon. It's so soft. She just gets it in like a super extra large size and it's so comfortable. So I was going to make me something to eat, but usually when we go out of town, we try not to like have dishes in the sink the night before or like food in the trash can because I don't want my house to smell when I come back. So we like to make sure the trash is empty and there are no dishes in the sink. And I think Kendra is steam mopping. <laughs> I think I hear the steam mop. Okay, I'll see y'all in a minute. I'm gonna try it with the phone. Okay, good yours. Thank you. So she gave us a free croissant. Yeah, I was like, um, is this, is this anybody? <laughs> I was like, I ain't ordered that, but I'll take it. I told you, I was like, you sure she got the order? Cause she, she, no, she got it right. She got it right, but you can tell she was a little overwhelmed. She was flustered, it's okay. I'm like somebody help us <laughs> back in this person car say daddy's money that's weird is that for the kids i'm so confused to remind the children that this ain't your money yeah you should remind your kids that you ain't got no money i had to get me pumpkin cream cold foam on top it's september and they officially have pumpkin thing things now on the menu yeah the pumpkin cold foam is really good oh, i still am not that fond of the coconut milk with the chai it's not bad. It's not bad, but oat milk tastes better with it. Okay, guys, so we made it home. Uh, we stopped by Publix before we got here. Got the essentials. Um, my mom kylie or my stepdad is in here my mom was dropping off my little cousin and then my stepdad is at a football game i should have known because it's friday but yeah we just got some essentials at publix what kendra left a bag how she forget the wine just got some cotton candy grapes got some salami peppered salami i don't like plain salami you gotta have pepper got some prosciutto Monterey Jack cheese. You left the wine in the car. How I got all these bags and you, so I gotta get that. Sorry. We've been obsessed with this Chobani vanilla Greek yogurt. It's so bomb. Uh, so we made it in perfect time to watch the sunset because every time I come home, I like to sit on the back porch and watch the sunset like a little old lady. And uh, we also got some pistachios, Cape Cod potato chips, and then Kendra is obsessed with these. Sweet mesquite barbecue cake cot chips. You got these. And then I had to get my golden flake hot. I'm obsessed with these chips. Keynote. And some imagery. Caps. I need to wash those grapes off. I think I just heard a mama. Grapes in here. 
Little Risto. Oh, hi, family. Hi. There's Kylie. Hey, mom. Hey, my little girl. Hey, guys. So I'm sitting on the porch. Uh, we're about to go pick up some food. We're going to have Mexican food because my mom is not cooking tonight, and I don't blame her. So we're going to pick up some Mexican food. Um, but, yeah, I'm just waiting on my mom to change so we can go pick up the food. Um, but, yeah, I'm just watching the sunset. didn't vlog yesterday because we weren't really doing anything which we like because we don't do anything when we come home we just relax and sit on this porch but um, today Sunday we went to church we just got done eating my mom cooked yesterday so she didn't have to cook today she made a roast it was so freaking good and she made cabbage too and cornbread bomb and then right now my stepdad is making some peach cobbler yeah it was a good service at church today oh my gosh I saw my first grade teacher she ended up sitting directly in front of me my mom noticed her before I did. And I didn't think she would recognize me. And then as soon as she turned around, she looked at Kendra first. And then yeah, she, she was like, trying to make sure she thought I was you. at first. And then she looked a little bit longer. And, and then she, she looked relaxed. a little bit longer. And then she looked at me. And then she gave me the biggest hug. And I cried. You're my favorite teacher, right? Your yes. Teacher. Everybody have their favorite teacher. I know. Oh, no, like you never forget like your favorite teacher. Yeah, I just feel like teachers don't realize how much they can impact your life. So true. And I was in first grade and I still remember this woman, so. And she remembered me, I didn't think she would, and she just turned around and gave me the tightest hug. Oh my gosh, I think that's why when I started getting a little teary-eyed. Cause she was getting teary-eyed and I was Aww. just like, okay, she's making me cry. And I don't really cry that often. No, you know. She was the best teacher ever. She was just very present. You can just tell when teachers care and you can tell when teachers don't care. Um, but yeah. Is mama done with that leaf blower? I don't know what she doing with that thing. <laughs> At first she was using it to blow off the porch, but now I don't know what she doing. But yeah, we leave tomorrow. We're just gonna probably watch a movie later tonight. We were gonna watch one last night, but my mama be falling asleep. She so was too tired. She was. She couldn't hang with us. She was like, oh yeah, I stay up and watch it. We was like, no. <laughs> you gonna be asleep. Yeah. Uh, we'll just watch it tonight. We're gonna watch The Gray Man on Netflix. Yes. With, Gray um... Man. Ryan Gosling. Ryan Gosling and Chris, Chris Evans. Evans. Yeah, some eye candy for the night. Yeah, I heard it was good. But yeah, about to finish our books. Finally finna be done with this, y'all. Finally. It's good though. And I'm gonna watch the movie after. Hey guys, so we are back home in Georgia and we got back like, it's Thursday. So we got back on Monday, on Labor Day. So today Kelsey and I are gonna run some errands but before we do that I'm gonna open my Warby Parker package because I got some glasses to try on and today's video is sponsored by Warby Parker so thanks so much to Warby Parker for sponsoring today's video I was supposed to get an eye exam like a few months ago to get like a new prescription and I'm pretty sure I need a new one because I feel like as every year goes by my eyesight gets worse and this was the perfect time for me to get some new glasses so I'm gonna try a few on so Warby Parker offers everything you need for happier eyes. Eyeglasses, sunglasses, contact lenses, and eye exams. And you can shop with them online or in stores. Glasses start at $95. Including prescription lenses, sunglasses, progressives, and blue light lenses are also available. Warby Parker offers a home try-on kit. Just answer a few quick questions online and Warby Parker will suggest some glasses to fit your face and style. Order five pairs of glasses and try them on for five days. There is no obligation to buy. So this is what my box looks like. I got multiple tortoise pairs of glasses. Like I like the tortoise shell look and I like square like slash rectangular frames. But I did pick one pair of sunglasses and one like different shape that I don't normally go for. Um, so these are typically the style that I go for. I love how skinny they are on the side because the ones I have now are really thick. So these are really cute. Love that. So these are called the Vaughn. And then the ones I just tried on are called Welty. And then these are called the London. 
the London I think I really really like but I'm, I'm not gonna pick these because they look way too similar to the ones I have now so I think I'm gearing more towards the daisies because they are completely different than what I've ever worn before so they still have like that tortoise like print but the shape is slightly different because they're like really lightweight and dainty so I feel like these look the most different because they're rounder they have kind of like a cat eye effect at the top so I'm gonna go with these I did get a pair of sunglasses to try on though um, because I do need a prescribed pair of sunglasses um, and I wanted to see how these fit on me love that and I think the brown goes with a lot of my clothes that I wear I like how big they are like I love big sunglasses but I do think I'm gonna go with the daisy pair so if you guys want to try Warby Parker's free home try on program order five pairs of glasses to try at home for free for five days there's no obligation to buy ships free and includes a prepaid return shipping label Try five pairs of glasses at home for free at warbyparker.com slash glam twin TV. Okay, so we're getting ready to go. Um, Kelsey just got done getting ready because uh, she started getting ready a little after me. Um, so we're going to go to West Elm, not West Elm, uh, Crate and Barrel because we need some bar cart accessories because we just got a bar cart. It came in yesterday, but we have to put it together. So we're going to put it together tomorrow. I hate putting stuff together. It's just not my thing. I'm not very good at it. So, uh, we're going to do that tomorrow. Thank God it's like a pretty small like bar cart. I don't think it has that many pieces. Hopefully it doesn't. So, hopefully it'll be easy. So, we're going to go to Crate and Barrel. I don't think we need to go anywhere else. If, if we don't find anything at Crate and Barrel, we might stop at Williams Sonoma or West Elm and see what they have. But Crate and Barrel is the most affordable, which is why we want to go there first. Um, and we really, I, I really wanted to do a bar cart like in our living space because we have like obviously those wine racks in the kitchen um right here that we store for wine but every time we like buy any other kind of alcohol we don't know where to put it like aesthetically like it doesn't look cute next to the wine if we just sit it there we want to like we wanted an actual bar cart to like put somewhere in the living room so we're gonna put it next to the buffet that's over here and i think that's gonna look nice and it's brass so it'll bring out like the brass in this space that we have yeah, I just want a designated area for alcohol. So I think it'll be perfect in the spot that we chose. The bar cart accessories that I'm looking for are like a decanter. I think that's what it's called, which you basically put your brown liquor in. Um, so we're going to uh, get a decanter to put our bourbon in. And then like some other like mixing things. I forgot the name of it. It's like a, a shaker. A shaker. And then like the little things that you put like syrups and stuff in. I'm not, at a bar, uh, I'm not a bartender, so about. I don't know. I know what you're talking about. No, some of them are gold. Oh, it's like kind of triangular. Yeah. Um, Is it like some kind of like spout? It's probably not the right terminology. I don't think that's what it is. I, I don't I don't know what I'm talking about, y'all. We'll see when we get there. Okay guys, so we found what we were looking for, um, but at first I was getting a little worried because they didn't have any gold or brass shakers in West Elm, and then we actually found, you mean Crate and Barrel? Sorry, Crate and Barrel. They didn't have any gold ones in Crate and Barrel, but they had a gold shaker in West Elm, but it was way too shiny and a little cheap looking to me. Like yellow. Yeah, it was like a yellow undertone and that kind of gold looks kind of cheap. We prefer brass, not gold. We always go to Williams Sonoma last because they're the most expensive. I'm sorry, I, what is this light doing? Okay. They're the most expensive, so we'd be trying to avoid going in there, but I mean, it is worth it because they do have really good quality stuff in there. We ended up finding exactly what we needed in Williams Sonoma and it's so pretty, so we'll show y'all that obviously when we get home. Okay, so we're back and I'm gonna show you guys what we got. Also, I have some stuff from Brandy Melville that came in the other day that I want to show you guys because I haven't shopped there before. Kelsey told me about Brandy Melville. I'll start with Crate and Barrel. We only got one thing because they didn't have anything else that we were looking for. I said we wanted a decanter. I think that's what this is called. And this one looked the best because I really like the little lines on it. 
makes it look nice and interesting because I feel like some decanters look a little dated, like a little too old school for me, like the design on them. And this ain't a lot because we like old shit. Yeah, <laughs> but we like more vintage, not like yeah, you're dated. Yeah. It's a difference. Mm -hmm. But this was really pretty and it's not too heavy because obviously to pour, you don't want it to be too heavy. So this is really nice. We're gonna clean this out and put our bourbon in it. The bourbon we, we like to drink is a uh, bullet. I bought some last year during the holidays uh, cause we wanted to, Kelsey wanted it for eggnog last year and I started drinking it by itself and I realized that I really liked it. So um, that's what's gonna go in here. And then from Williams Sonoma, we got a bar, what is this called? Classic bar tool set. This is the four piece antique brass bar tools. So that's what that looks like. It's really nice. So it comes with, what is this, Kelsey? What is it called? Oh, it's just to measure out like syrups and stuff? Uh, yeah, it's like, this is what I was talking about earlier when I called it a spout. I don't think that's correct. This is called a me measuring jigger. <laughs> that's what this is. And then it comes obviously with the cocktail shaker, the bar spoon, and then the cocktail strainer. This is a strainer. So, I know what that was, yeah, I do know what Oh, you did? Yeah, the strainer. And this was a, the second to last brass one they had left because they only had two. Um, so I just thought this this aged brass looked like the vintage antique brass would um, complement the bar cart that we got. Um, I sent Kelsey like three different ones and this is the one we decided on. It's from West Elm. Yes, I think it's from West Elm. So I'm really excited to have one now. It's very, uh, minimal, very clean lines. It's not like too busy looking. So I really like it. And then while we were in Williams Sonoma, they had like a bunch of little like bar like accessories, but they also had mixers and stuff over there. And Kelsey and I saw this uh, spiced apple cocktail mix. It's called Mold Spice. Kind of like when people have mold wine like in fall, fall and winter. Um, this is spiced apple. And I thought that would be really good to mix with the bourbon. Um, and it's so funny because last year I just randomly started drinking apple juice with my bourbon. And I know that sounds random, but don't knock it until you try it because it is so good. Not Mott's. Not Mott's apple juice. Real apple juice. Real apple juice. Like, what's the one we like? It starts with the M. That's the only apple juice I drink. Comes in like the glass bottle. That with the bullet straight Kentucky bourbon. Phenomenal, no ice. I don't like ice in mine. So it's just really good. So I thought this would be good mixed with the bourbon cause it's spiced apple cocktail mix. So they had like pumpkin flavored stuff in there but I don't, I don't doubt with the pumpkin flavored stuff unless it's like the cold foam at Starbucks. Also, I got a new perfume recently that I haven't shared with you guys and I can't get enough of this Glossier U perfume. Um, I don't have the box because I already opened it and I've been wearing it for like the past week and a half and I've already gotten so many compliments on it. It's so bomb. It's supposed to like, it's called you because it's supposed to like mix with your body chemistry and smell even better like specifically on you. It's not supposed to smell the same on everybody. So it's supposed to smell different on each person. But it has like a really like fruity, warm, like a hint of like masculine, like sandalwood kind of smell. It's really nice. Okay, so I have my Brandy Melville box right here and I'm gonna share what I got. I got this white tank top, it's like a V-neck. I thought this would look really cute with like some low rise jeans that I got from Zara, which I need to call Zara's customer service because I ordered, like I ordered some stuff from them like almost a month ago and I still don't have my package and it said deliver. So I hope it's not at one of my neighbor's house and they just haven't brought me my, my clothes cause they will be messed up. So we'll see what that's about. But yeah, I got this white tank cause I specifically wanted to wear it with like those, you know, early 2000s like baggier looking jeans. I thought it would look cute with this. So I got that. And then I got like this little vest style crochet like knit top. I thought this was really cute. I thought it was a nice transitional piece cause it's like um, a sweater material. So I thought this would be really cute and I like the pattern on it. It's like an off white, it's not white white like this. So got that. These are pajama shorts or lounge shorts. They're like this really pretty green floral and they're really stretchy. I really got these uh, obviously to sleep in, but I would wear these around the house also. But I thought these were super cute pajama shorts. They had like a matching top, but I just really like the shorts. Then I got this gray tank top. 
uh, just to wear around the house or just, you know, to run errands. I don't really have a lot of charcoal gray, like, tanks like this. Um, I feel like this is something Kelsey would have because she has a lot of gray. But I like the charcoal gray tank top and it's like really thick material, so I really like that. I got another white tank top, but I got this one for pajamas. So I'm not going to be wearing this in public. This one I specifically got to sleep with, to sleep in. So it's just like a regular tank top but with like a little heart pattern on it you probably can't even see and i just like the um the lace trim at the top then i got a green sweatshirt because i really wanted to try some of their sweatshirts haven't um heard much about them but i just thought the colors were nice i got this hunter green and these are like one size so they're like supposed to be oversized so this dark green looks perfect for the upcoming fall months ahead which i'm super excited for it's my favorite time of year where i thrive so hunter green i love love this color it's like a deep rich hunter green love that and then i got this like 90 style hoodie it's black in the middle and then the sleeves are like this burgundy red color and the inside of the hood is also burgundy so i thought this was super cute with just some some jeans or some leggings. Just love super comfy, something easy to throw on for the new season. Then I also got this navy blue windbreaker. It's like a vintage navy. It's not like a navy navy. It's like a more washed out kind of navy. And I thought this would be like that thin like windbreaker material. No, it's like thick. So I, this is gonna keep me pretty warm. So I don't think I'll be able to wear this probably until like end of October, November probably. Um, but I just thought it was super cute. I thought it looked vintage. And the sleeves are like uh, this warm, like stretchy material. Really nice. This is really heavy too, which is how I know it's warm. I can't wear this. I can't wear this no time soon because it takes a minute to get cold here. And last but not least, I got this blue sweatshirt. So it's the same one as the green one, just this is blue like a washed out blue they said navy but it's not navy in person to me it's more like a gray blue in person so i love that so that is it for my little haul oh wait one more thing for our bark cart i got these little fake lilies from amazon because i wanted to get a vase well i got a vase from h m that's supposed to be here tomorrow that i wanted to put on the bark cart because the way i wanted to style it I saw this picture on Pinterest that I really liked and that's basically kind of the look that we're going for and the picture had um, a pretty vase with some fake flowers. It had roses in the picture but I thought these lilies were cute that I found on Amazon. They look a little bit more artificial than the tulips we have on the coffee table but I still think they're pretty so I think they serve their purpose. Hey guys we're about to have some dinner. Can to make this delicious meal that she hasn't made in a while. This is chipotle chili salmon. Mm -hmm. So good. And then she does it with cucumbers, with vinaigrette, jasmine That's rice. actually liquid aminos. Oh, it is? Mm -hmm. Oh, liquid aminos this time. And then kale. And then we just have a little cauliflower rice at the bottom. Yeah, I like, I mean, I like jasmine rice. I like, I don't mind cauliflower rice, but jasmine is good rice. Just like a different spin on salmon. Um, because sometimes we do kind of get tired of it the regular way. So I like when she adds like the chipotle chili peppers. It's really good. It just adds a little bit more flavor. Even though Kendra salmon is already flavorful. But this is one of my favorite ways that she does her salmon meal. Um, so yeah, it's pretty bomb. Hi guys. So today's Friday. Um, I just got up. I'm actually about to make me some coffee. Yes, I said coffee. You guys know Kendra and I are not big coffee drinkers. But... Lately, I feel like I've been needing it. Kind of stay away from coffee because when I would drink it in the past, if I had too much of it, it would make my heart beat really fast. If you've ever had anxiety, you know that coffee is just not the drink for you. But I figure out how to make it and have it work for me, give me a little burst of energy without making me super anxious, give me the shakes. Okay, so this is the brand that we like to use. So Kendra gets this, I think from Sprouts. Yeah, Kendra gets this from Sprouts, so this one's almost out, so we got another one. This is like literally almost the amount that I drink in one cup. <laughs> um, so, first you guys know I'm obsessed with rice milk. I really like this brand of creamer. Um, this is a new one Kendra got, the Caramel Macchiato, but I like the hazelnut. The hazelnut is my favorite, even though right now I think I kind of want to try to mix the two. That might be kind of good. The 
vanilla one the french vanilla is obviously really good so khalifa is like the go-to brand for us for creamer so i really like this so i do a lot of ice So now I'm gonna go get ready to edit Kendra's thumbnail because she has a video going up today and she likes me to make her thumbnail. I don't mind because I actually enjoy doing like artsy stuff like that. Sometimes it takes me like, depending on how busy the thumbnail is, it takes me like sometimes 20 to 30 minutes to do a thumbnail. Um, and it does not take that long to make a thumbnail. Like you can literally make a thumbnail in like 10 minutes, but sometimes depending on how much detail is in the thumbnail, I take a little bit longer. Like font size all that kind of stuff by the way i use pick monkey to um edit thumbnails if you guys are wondering and then i'm gonna go to the grocery store um and then kendra and i are gonna put that bar cart together so yeah i'm about to finish my cup of coffee i only have one by the way i never have more than one i don't see how y'all be drinking like two three cups of coffee a day like i see people drink so much coffee in a day and i I know people can get addicted to caffeine, but I low-key, like, sometimes, like, how coffee makes me feel, I low-key feel like it's a drug. Like, I'm like, how are people, like, drinking this all day? Y'all, we built different. I, I don't understand it. I'm in the office now, obviously. Um, I just forgot until I walked in here that we have to roll out our new rug in here. So we have to, like, move the desk and stuff after I'm done doing this. Because um, we got a new rug for the office because the other one was getting disgusting and it was getting like really matted so if you're on a hunt for a new rug or if you just got a new place and you're rug shopping i do not recommend getting the shag rug because they aren't good long term they just don't last um so the kind of rugs that me and kendra have in the living room and our bedrooms are like better like the um uh the oriental type rugs i really like those they just look more interesting anyway because right now it's very echoey in here and last time i did a video hopefully you guys didn't hear the echo and the um voiceover that i did because um the rug helps just to um soak up all the extra echo in the room so that's also why i like having a rug in the office and that's also why i like having hardwood floors throughout the house because i love an excuse to buy a rug i just love rugs they just make the space cozy and makes the space more interesting so yeah and plus i hate carpet I just cannot stand carpet. Okay, so here's the rug. I think it's the perfect size because I was going back and forth with which size would be best. And this size is perfect. It's bigger than the last rug that was here, which I love. It makes the room look bigger even though the other one was white. It was so impossible to keep clean in the shack. Like material is not very practical. It's not practical. And I really love these kind of rugs. And I thought the pattern on this one was really pretty. And I wanted something with some kind of color to like you know make the room feel more happy and vibrant <laughs> and i feel like this rug makes it feel warm and it just adds like really good vibes to this space yeah it doesn't look so matchy matchy yeah not too matchy matchy gives it more like an eclectic feel so i prefer that and i think it complements everything else really nicely so i love this feel like it feels different walking in here so I'm actually excited to edit. Rug is from rugs.com, by the way. I think it's rugs.com or rugs USA. I found this and just typed in red oriental rugs and that's how I found this one. 
and all the options that came up were pretty, but I like this one the best. Okay guys, so I just cleaned out all of the bar cart items. So we've been had these glasses. We got these a while ago from Home Goods. These pretty Ralph Lauren ones. These are from Ralph Lauren. And then I have no idea what brand these are from, but all of these are from Home Goods. I haven't found the best wine glasses from there, but they do have really um, good thick glass um, cups like these. Like the glasses that are like look like they're for like dark liquor. So these are really nice. And then the couple of shot glasses. We got these from Home Goods as well. Um, yeah, Kendra, I already showed y'all this set from Womb Sonoma. And then we just letting our decanter dry from Crate and Barrel. I'm obsessed with this top too. Super pretty. So and it complements this cute vase Kendra got from HM. Put flowers in them from Home Goods. Um, so these are from, not home goods, these flowers are from Amazon. Sorry, these fake flowers. Um, but I like the look of them because they look real, but they're not real. So yeah, these are from Amazon, but I love this vase. I love a good ribbed vase. Um, H&M has really pretty ribbed items on there. So if you're looking for like ribbed vases, um, like the ones we use for like our fall decor, like those uh, charcoal gray ones, those are also from H&M. So this is really pretty. This is also going to go on the bar cart. And then at the bottom, these flowers were way too short. So Kendra um, decided that we should put wine corks at the bottom because we have way more than enough um, to lift up the flowers a little bit because I was going to put like another candle or something down here, but I don't know if that would have been tall enough. Um, so Kendra decided on wine corks. So that's genius. So if you ever have like a tall vase that's like way too tall for the flowers that you have in them, just put wine corks at the bottom. And I'm talking about fake flowers, obviously. So yeah, that's a super cool idea. And plus it goes with the whole bar theme. And then I also like that the bottom of this decanter is ripped because it complements this. So the bar cart's done. Um, it was easier than I thought to put together, uh, but Kelsey just had to finish it by herself because the wrench that um, it came with to screw the nails in only came with one. Not the wrench, the screwdriver. Yeah, um, but it was pretty easy to put together. This is from West Elm, if you guys are wondering where the bar cart is from. And I think it's called the Terrace. It's from the Terrace Collection because I have the same, um, the table in my entryway in my room over there is from the same collection. Um, so West Elm is where I got it from. I love like the way I set it up because I found a picture off Pinterest that I was inspired by. So 
because I didn't really know how to set up a bar cart. Never had one, so didn't know where to put anything. So have our alcohol on this side and then the accessories on this side with glasses. And at the bottom, we're just gonna put mixers on that side. So mixers at the bottom, alcohol at the top. I like how this part is mirrored because I don't know why I thought this was like clear cussy. You yeah, thought it was clear? Well, the top, I thought the top part was gonna be clear and this, just the bottom part was gonna be Oh clear. yeah, because just the bottom part is mirrored in your room but on this both of them are mirrored yeah i thought that was cool too yeah this is a pretty bar car and i think it looks really nice with everything else it ties everything in together like the brass yeah and it fits perfect right here yeah it does fit perfectly so, we did measure yes we always measure mm -hmm. got to yeah. 